Number 1. Whistler Blackham. Whistler Mountain, 2,182 meters, and Blackham Mountain, 2,284 meters. The two peaks that rise above Whistler Village boast some of the best skiing in North America. The Whistler Blackham Resorts combined skiable terrain tops 3,307 hectares with more than 200 runs accessed by 39 lifts, including brand new high capacity gondolas on Blackham Mountain and Whistler Mountain. Number 2. Peak 2 Peak Gondola. The Peak 2 Peak Gondola provides an elevated ride between the two mountains. Though the distance covered is a record breaking 4.4 kilometers, the ride takes only 11 minutes. On a clear day, the view is superb and looks out to snow capped mountains, alpine lakes, and dense coniferous forests. A glance down to Fitzsimmons Creek is also awe inspiring, at points, the gondola is nearly half a kilometer above the valley floor. Number 3. Squamish Lilwat Cultural Center. Whistler's beautiful and modern First Nations Museum, the Squamish Lilwat Cultural Center, SLCC, is home to a collection of carvings, weavings, and stories that introduce the history and culture of the local Squamish and Lilwat peoples. Both nations include Whistler in their traditional territory and have lived on and from this land for longer than memory. The on-site cafe serves an interesting menu of First Nations-inspired dishes, and the gift shop sells some handmade souvenirs. Number 4. Hiking and Climbing British Columbia is renowned for its many hiking trails, and Whistler is no different. Trails range from easy nature walks around Lost Lake to elevation-intense mountain climbs. A well-traveled network of hikes radiates from the lookouts atop Whistler Mountain. Gondolas take hikers above the tree line, where the trails are especially lovely during the alpine wildflower season. Number 5. Mountain Biking and Other Sports in Whistler Mountain biking is certainly one of the most popular summer sports in Whistler Village, and visitors will see legions of armor-clad bikers heading up the slopes by chairlift to Whistler Mountain Bike Park. But the region offers many other adrenaline fuel activities, too. Taking a zipline tour is one of the most thrilling excursions. Zipliners reach highway speeds while flying across forested valleys. Number 6. Whistler Olympic Park. Another facility built for the 2010 Winter Games, Whistler Olympic Park now offers ready access to winter cross-country skiing trails. The unusual-looking ski jumps are still in place at the facility, as are a set of Olympic rings. In winter, Nordic skiers take to the groomed trails while snowshores follow the route to Alexander Falls and other viewpoints. Number 7. Golfing. Celebrity-designed courses add to the resort vibe in Whistler. These Pacific Northwest fairways are set amid a lush landscape of stately conifers, pocket lakes, and a mountain backdrop. Options for playing 18 holes include the Arnold Palmer-designed Whistler Golf Club, the Nicholas North Golf Club, and the Fairmont Chateau Whistler Golf Club. Number 8. Lost Lake. Lost Lake is a year-round destination for activities, be it mountain biking, hiking, and bird watching in summer, or snowshoeing and cross-country skiing in winter. From the shoreline, trails fan out, allowing visitors to explore the surrounding quiet forests filled with British Columbia wildlife. The small lake features a beach area and is generally one of the busier spots on a hot summer day, especially as there is a shuttle from the village. Number 9. Audane Art Museum. One of the newest cultural attractions in Whistler, the exquisitely designed, wood-clad Audane Art Museum opened in 2016 and has become a fast favorite among tourists and locals alike. With a mandate to feature British Columbian art and artists from the late 1700s onwards, the museum's permanent collection is certainly impressive. Number 10. Whistler Museum. Whistler Museum is small but ambitious. It tells tales from Whistler's early days and should definitely be added to your list of things to do. The museum's interesting exhibits introduce local characters, including early settlers and lodge owners, quirky area artists, and the many world-class athletes who have trained on the slopes. A few interactive exhibits let visitors dress up or touch pieces of Whistler history, 
and there's a large focus on Olympic memorabilia. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.